beautiful people and welcome back to another video so this video I wasn't going to put up today because when I'd finished it I was really unhappy with it I made a mistake of putting chrome over the 3d gel at the end and in my opinion it, it spoilt it but a couple of my beautiful friends have said that I must put it up so here we are I'm using light sand from Not Polish crystal clear hotline bling and sun and flirty I think that's it yeah and I've, there is, I've got some loose glitter as well So I'm starting out on the ring finger and I'm doing an extended nail bed. I've not done one of these for ages. Um, so I was a bit rusty on this. So yeah, I'm doing an extended nail bed on the ring finger and the index finger. As always, I do have a discount code for Not Polish, and that is Sarah, and that will save you 10% off. So, as you guys have probably noticed, I am experimenting with some different backgrounds. Um, I've used black, I've used white, and I've used red. I uh, don't know which you guys think was the best but I've just been playing around a little bit so who's been watching the Olympics I love the Olympics especially the diving the gymnasts and the artistic swimming So I really don't know what happened with this design guys, I really don't. Um, I don't know, my mind just wasn't on it for, for some reason this last week. I don't know. Sometimes you just get like, um, like a creative block where you don't know what colours to use and what designs to do but I have got I have got something in mind for the next design so hopefully I won't struggle like I did with this one I do apologise, I do go out of shot a little bit on this video as well. Like I said, my mind just wasn't in it, um, I don't know. So I'm having a couple of days from even going in my salon. I'm having a couple of days off um, and then I'm going to start again next week.
so coming in on the pinky and I'm starting out with the hotline bling and then I'm coming in with the sun and flirty it's not a marble um, I don't really know what it was to be honest and then I come in with some of that loose glitter and then this is like it's like a textured glitter this and it's iridescent uh, but when it gets in the light it does shine different colours And I'm going to be ombre in over these ones. I do this on the pinky and the thumb. So I'm just going to let you guys watch this little bit and then I will pop back on in a bit. I did feel that the thumb went better than the pinky, I don't know why, um, you always get one better than the other. I do think sometimes with my designs I try and put too much in it, um, so I'm going to try and simplify them a little bit. So this is the hotline bling and this is just a full nail of this green, it's a beautiful colour. But as from the beginning of September, I'm going to make a start on the autumn designs. I know I always ask but if you guys have got anything 
in particular like any design or color um, you want me to use then just drop it in the comments box and if anybody fancies doing a collab um, just drop me a note in the comments box as well I don't know what's happening with my voice today I think I'm starting with a cold to be honest So I'm now doing the Frenchies and I always start by doing my sides first. The beauty about doing a French, like a full French, with no glitter or anything, is it doesn't matter if it actually gets on the nail bed part, because you're going to file it through later anyway. It wasn't a difficult design this, it was it was more of how I messed it up at the end. But look, you learn. You can't be perfect and one hundred percent every time. At the end of the day we're all human and we all make mistakes. And this was definitely one of those. So I'm now coming in with the light sand and I'm just going to do the ombres on the pinky and the thumb.
So I'm now coming in with some clear and I'm just going to encapsulate um, the top part of this nail because obviously it's got glitter in it. So again on the thumb I'm just coming in and doing exactly the same as I did on the pinky. watching and you've not tried not polish then I highly highly recommend it it is so creamy and buttery and very easy to use I would say it's very beginner friendly and yeah I, I love it And then again, I'm coming in with the clear. So when I've finished encapsulating this thumb, I will go in and file. I didn't leave it all on camera because obviously I'd only done the pop-off method and they do come off. Um, I just left this bit in showing you how I file in the French. showing you that if you do get it onto the nail bed itself um, it does all work out in the end yeah. 
this drill bit is from Not Polish and it's one of the best drill bits that I've used. It's not a five in one, um, it's just classed as a long flute bit. But I, I really like these bits. So I'm going to give him a good dust off. This is how they are looking. And then I'm going to come in with some alcohol spray and just give him a good, good scrub. Make sure there's no dust. And then I'm now going to come in and do some airbrushing. I just want some yellow on the tip of these green Frenchies. my cat's come to say hello so I am still new to airbrushing but I really do enjoy it and I love that some of the looks that you can get from it I know it's not really good to mix gel polish and acetone and run it through your airbrush but over here in the UK you can't get any decent inks for airbrushing I have tried I've tried quite a few and none of them work they just clog up your, your machine so until we get some good ones over here I just have to stick to that but I do wear a mask and I do have two extractor fans running um, and they're both charcoal extractor fans so they do take the fumes away And I just keep applying it and curing it for 30 seconds in between until I'm happy. And then I'm now going to come in with some glossy top coat from Not Polish and top coat all of these nails. The pink hair and the thumb, I do top coat underneath because obviously some of that nail is clear and you can see through it.
and then I'm just going to add a couple of gems to the pink hair and I'll do it on the thumb as well and then I will cure these in my lamp for 60 seconds I've got a bit of fluff on this nail that's why I'm going over it and over it so I can get it off and then this is where I start to make a mess so I'm coming in with this pearl pigment and it has got like it, it does give like a green shimmer to it but you couldn't really see that to be fair And then, like an idiot, um, I added it to the index finger and the ring finger. I'm watching this back now and I'm actually, ugh, I'm so, so annoyed with myself. Why did I do it? So annoyed. And then now I'm coming in and having a go at this 3D gel design. This is only the second time that I've done it. And I was quite pleased with it until I spoiled it again. As if I didn't make enough mess first time. I even went and did it again and I don't know why. I have to excuse my voice guys, I'm sorry. I was so chuffed at this design when I'd done it because it did it look it looked nice and then I went and spoiled it so annoyed with myself And then again, I do the same on the ring finger.
So I'm now coming on, coming in on the middle finger, and I was gonna do my own uh, one of these gel flowers, but when I'd seen at this point what mess I'd made, I just it just I lost interest and I was just so downhearted. So I got some of these flowers, I got these off AliExpress. And I'm just going to add some of the tiny little neon crystals, just dotting them about around that flower in the middle. So I do cure those in my lamp for 60 seconds. I did top coat over the 3D gel as well. That probably made it worse. So that is the end of this video today guys. Like I said I didn't like it. I think I made a mess but let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts. Don't forget you can use my discount code for not polish which is Sarah and I will leave that in the description box with a, lo a load of other discount codes. Thank you for being here today, thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.